So what's going on guys, the truck guy here. Today we're unboxing and reviewing the Klein Tools Folding Utility Knife, model number 44131. So one of my subscribers guys said, hey, you've got to review the Klein Tools 44131. So I definitely wanted to check it out. And as you guys know, we just reviewed the Klein Tools Precision Screwdriver Set. That's coming really handy with working on our utility knives and tightening them up. So I was really excited about jumping into Klein Tools and their folding utility knife. So let's go ahead and jump into the review and let's do it. All right, guys, so Klein Tools, they make, you know, a lot of tools that focus on the electrical industry, really kind of electrical jobs around the house. So Klein is a reputable brand. They're definitely on the more expensive side. So I picked this up from Amazon. It was $15.97. And surprisingly, guys, it's still on Amazon at $15.97. Usually once I purchase it, it goes down in price. So... Hey, I got lucky at least for a day, guys, because I just picked it up. But Klein Tools, you know, at 16 bucks, it's a little bit more on the expensive side, but really not too bad. And it seems right in that wheelhouse of value for utility knives. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. And then we'll get it out of the packaging. So really nothing too advanced on the packaging. Easy push button open and close. And then you can see just a few features on the back. It's got the quick change. It's got the button lock and the wire stripper. You can see the belt clip through the packaging. So nothing super special. We'll get it out of the packaging. And Klein, they've also got us protected, so we'll take the blade protector off. And guys, comment down below if I should keep the blade pr protector on, because if you saw my Fisker's Painter's Knife review, I hate this thing, it's dangerous as heck, but if you saw this review, you know that I might need a blade protector from time to time, so it's all good. I don't think we're going to have that same issue with Klein Tools. So right out of the packaging, guys, it feels good in the hand. It's actually on the lighter side, so you know if you're used to having a, a little bit more substantial and heavy utility knife. You know, Klein Tools is, is giving us something on the lighter side, but I think that could come in handy for some electrical jobs. You don't necessarily want a huge, heavy utility knife in your hand. So I'm kind of liking what I'm feeling out of the gates on the Klein Tools. There's some rubber grip, you know, integrated into the metal body. So I'm definitely liking that for, you know, jobs where you're working in tight places, um, you know, with the electrical side, you're not going to see, you know, a lot of moisture, we're hoping, around the jobs you're working on. But it definitely helps to have, you know, a nice grip if you're, you know, stripping wires, things of that nature. You know, frankly, when I'm doing electrical, I find these most handy just for opening the boxes, you know, getting a light fixture out of the packaging, things of that nature. If it comes down to it, you know, cutting and stripping wire, that can be fine. But... You know, for the most part, I'm going to use a wire stripper if I want to do that. So I'm not going to really be breaking out this utility knife for that purpose. But, uh, you know, liking what I'm seeing from Klein, but overall, it's a lighter duty knife. Um, and then it's also got the button lock. So that's actually really nice functionality, guys. Um, one thing I noticed, because I did use this on one electrical job, you know, just earlier today to test it out for you guys, is the button lock is, you know, a little bit on the softer side. With Milwaukee, you're going to get that hard press button lock. You know, if you're using something like the 1502, you can tell that's a really substantial hard button to press in, which, you know, that kind of feels nice in the hand. With the Klein Tools, it's a very soft touch button. I don't know if you can hear that, guys. But a very soft touch button, and you can get, you, 
you can hear actually a little bit of spring action in the knife so I don't know what type of springs um, you know Klein tools used in the mechanism you know I haven't taken it apart yet but you can feel and hear a little bit of tinniness and pinging I would say within this knife you know when you're opening and closing it and pressing the button down it seems like they may have used a little bit cheaper springs in this knife because with the Milwaukee 1502 you can just feel how high quality this metal is how substantial it is and you don't get any springiness with that knife where you do get some of that with the Klein tools. So not necessarily a bad thing because this knife is a lot lighter and it's a lot, frankly, it's a lot quicker, I would say, than the Milwaukee. You know, you have to, you can press down a lot lighter and get the same nice press and flip functionality on this knife. But, you know, it's something that took a little getting used to when I first encountered this knife. You know, I thought, hey, that that's a little, you know, frankly a little cheaper but you start to get used to that mechanism again guys I can't emphasize this enough it's just on the lighter side I think there's some quality to the knife but we're gonna have to see how it holds up over time because we know with the Milwaukee knives those things are pretty much indestructible something like the 1502 is you know I've had it for years it's it's my go-to knife and it holds up really well so in terms of other features you've got the wire stripper again guys if you're up doing electrical you're probably going to use a traditional wire stripper um, you've also got the quick change so you've got the button up top and it's a really nice quick change with with Klein tools um, I've just found it's really easy very flawless in the design it locks in well a little bit of wiggle a little bit of wobble but nothing too bad and one of the funniest things guys if you can see this warning sharp blade so I mean, once I saw that, I'm like, Klein Tools, you've got to be kidding me, because that's not on any other utility knife, and I just laughed when I saw that, because, you know, it is what it is, guys. It's a utility knife. Got a razor blade in there. Of course, it's going to be sharp. One of the downfalls on this is there's no blade storage. Is that a huge deal? No. We know going in there's no blade storage, so that really is what it is on the knife um, and then you've got your belt clip on back it's a there's some tightness to the belt clip but nothing crazy like Milwaukee you know nothing really loose like some of the other things we've seen and you know the, the tightness of belt clips and in, in some other utility knives is is it leaves a lot to be desired but you know overall I think uh, this is a really decent quality knife um, you know if you like something a little bit lighter um, you know with a quick release I think this Klein tools knife could be for you you know if you're not a fan of Milwaukee but still like this press and flip Klein tools could be something you could go to here one other thing that I noticed and worried about a, a little bit when I encountered the knife is you know so much of it is open I was thinking you know is there any way you know, my finger's gonna, you know, slip in here and hit that blade, but uh, it's kind of funny. Klein has placed kind of two unique pieces of metal here and here to really prevent any exposure of that blade or your finger entering, you know, the frame here and hitting that blade. So Klein has definitely thought about this knife enough to help protect the consumers that are going to be handling it. Um, you know, other than that, it's got kind of a unique lanyard loop. Um, so your lanyard's actually going to have to go through part of the knife. I think, honestly, it would just kind of get in the way a little bit. Um, not a huge fan of this type of lanyard loop. But again, I don't use lanyards on my utility knife, or my utility knives for that matter, too often. So overall, I think a good knife from Klein, um, if you're... If you like Klein tools and you've got 16 bucks and you need a utility knife, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. It's it's 
overall a good quality knife so check out the link below in the description box and go ahead and pick up this klein tools utility knife so that's it guys please hit me up with a like or subscribe if you can and as always we'll talk to you on the next video